And joining me now is Senator Angus King of Maine, an independent who caucuses with the Democrats, also part of the Intelligence uh, Committee there. Senator King, welcome back to Meet the Press, sir. Great to be with you, Chuck. Well, uh, obviously a pretty eventful week. At the end of it, you have the Justice Department, uh, if you will, in the Southern District of New York, pretty explicitly implicating the president in a crime. Uh, and Michael Cohen then adding to it, saying that his testimony, uh, false testimony to Congress, was something that was known and advanced by some folks uh, in and around the president. What are your takeaways from this week's developments, and what should well, Congress now do? Well, I, I think you outlined uh, in your uh, tape there many of the questions that are raised by that, uh, by those filings, and they're really a separate series of filings, but the Cohen ones are are pretty disturbing because the the key phrase to me is directed by individual one which everyone knows is is president trump directed by uh, implicates the president in a felony now the president can have some defenses left i think we should make it clear he could claim it, it wasn't knowingly or willful he didn't understand it was his own money he didn't think it was a violation of campaign finance laws but it's still a, a pretty serious matter but i gotta say chuck I think the filing last week that should be most troubling to the White House weren't the ones made on Friday, but the ones made with regard to General Flynn earlier in the week. Uh, because, it, it, number one, uh, Robert Mueller felt that his cooperation has been of such a, an extent that he recommended no jail time, uh, a kind of uh, prosecutorial, prosecutorial pardon, if you will, uh, 19 meetings with the, with the special counsel, and a lot of redacted pieces in the filing that yeah. was made last week. That's the one I think that really raises the, some, some very uh, difficult questions that go to the heart of the question of whether there were relationships between the Trump campaign, President Trump and, and the Russian government during the campaign in 2016 because Flynn was, uh, as they say in Hamilton, in the room where it happens. Do you know something we don't? Given the, uh, your access to intelligence, your access to Michael, F Michael Flynn, and, and, and obviously the own investigation that you're a part of in the Senate Intelligence Committee? I suspect I do know things that you don't, but I'm not. Everything I'm saying, and I'm glad you asked that question, is based on public reporting, not on any inside information that I have. For example, I don't know what was redacted from those Flynn documents. So, uh, yes, uh, we've had a, as you know, our committee is working quietly and diligently on uh, many of these same issues, but everything that I'm sharing with you is based on uh, public information and the, the filings that we've seen uh, from these individuals. Given that the government has uh, is now saying the weight of the government is behind the charges that, that, that the president helped direct Michael Cohen to commit that crime, and as you said, there are still a defense there for the president. He can claim he didn't know it was a crime. Uh, or at least a breaking of a campaign finance crime. Do you believe there's already enough to start an impeachment inquiry? That doesn't mean he would be impeached, but impeachment inquiry. In fact, is Congress almost obligated to open an inquiry at this point? I, I don't think so. I think I think impeachment is entirely different from criminal prosecution. And and as you know, the Justice Department made a decision years ago in an opinion that a sitting president could not and should not be indicted. Uh, and so whether the president will ever face criminal charges with regard to this matter uh, is an open question. But impeachment essentially, Chuck, is a, is a political issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think that the, uh, the, the uh, well, let me, let me put it this way. I don't think that there's evidence yet available to the public where uh, there would be a, more or less a consensus that this was an appropriate uh, path. My concern is that if impeachment is moved forward on the evidence that we have now, at least a third of the country would right. think it was uh, uh, just political revenge and, and a coup against the president. That wouldn't serve us well at all. The best way to solve a problem like this to me is elections. But let me ask you this. The whole point of the impeachment process was if because of this idea that you can't necessarily uh, hold a president to the same rule of law that you can hold other individuals, and that the one means to dealing when a president commits crimes is through the impeachment process. If you don't go through it, isn't this Congress's way of saying, well, yes, he committed some crimes, but politically it's uncomfortable, so, you know, if you're popular enough or if you have a big enough base, 
you can get away with committing crimes? Well, interestingly, I, I have to point out parenthetically the, 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 what you just articulated was exactly Brett Kavanaugh's position on this issue when he was going through his confirmation hearing that uh, a president shouldn't be indicted or even investigated. Impeachment is the, is the remedy. I, that's, there's a certain irony uh, there, I think. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, the, the standard in the Constitution is high crimes and misdemeanors. It's a very high standard. And well, let me Andrew stop Johnson you there. Is it the words misdemeanor? I, I always feel as if when people say it's a high standard, high crimes and misdemeanors. And that, misdemeanors. That, that, that actually I've, could, that I, encompasses, you could argue that encompasses uh, the Jay entire. Walker. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't read it that way. And, 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 and here's why. If you go back to Andrew Johnson's impeachment, the very first one back in 1867, the danger, Chuck, is that we don't want to create a precedent where the Congress unseats, a Congress of one party unseats the president of another party for essentially political reasons. If that starts to happen, if that happens, then we've changed our system. We've become a kind of parliamentary system because you're overturning the will of the voters. So uh, I'm a conservative when it comes to impeachment. I think it's a last resort and only okay. when the evidence is clear of a really substantial legal violation. Let me ask you a couple of other things. We may get there, but we're not there now. Uh, the president's nominee for attorney general, uh, William Barr, who's served in that post before in the Bush 41 administration. There's a report this morning from Yahoo News that the president initially reached out to Mr. Barr as a potential defense attorney in the Mueller probe. Is that enough in your mind to demand recusal of oversight of the Mueller probe if he is attorney general? I, I want to hear more about, number one, that allegation, to, what, what were the details, but also from Mr. Barr himself. I think his hearings will be very important, and uh, I'd be surprised if uh, the Senate uh, confirms uh, an individual who doesn't uh, commit uh, to uh, protecting the integrity of, of uh, Special Counsel Mueller. I, I think that's going to be a kind of litmus test for any nominee for Attorney General, and uh, we'll see how Mr. Barr handles those questions. All right. Are you right now, are you in a wait and see mode, or could you see yourself supporting Mr. Barr? I'm, I'm in a wait and see mode. I, I want to I want to see the hearings, and I, I think it's very important to to determine how he uh, how he answers the question about uh, the integrity, as I say, of the of the Mueller investigation. Uh, because, and again, Chuck, the president himself should want the Mueller investigation to go to completion. It's the way to clear his name if it's terminated prematurely through his attorney general or his actions. It, it'll leave a cloud over him for the rest of his uh, time in office and I think could be very damaging to him politically. If he's okay. as innocent as he says he is, he ought to want this thing to go to completion. All right, Senator King, the independent who coxes with the Democrats from Maine. Senator, thanks for coming on and sharing your views. Thank Much you. appreciated.